Hello, I'm Matt and welcome to Badger Workshop. So when I moved into this house, this old ladder was in the garage. It's a pretty rickety old thing and there's no way I'd want to stand on it. So I want to repurpose it into a plant stand. I find the angle at the bottom of the legs and transfer this further up and then I can get it cut down. I want to rejoin these two bits together. So I work out how tall I want the back bit to be, get that marked out, and I can also get that cut down. I need some wood to join these bits together. So I'm gonna try and salvage as many pieces I can from this ladder to do it. offer up a piece, work out how long it's going to need to be and at what angle I'm going to need to cut it at, get it marked and then I cut it down again. I'm using a Japanese pull saw to do all these cuts. I use some clamps to help hold it together while I get some glue applied and then I can get some screws driven into the top two pieces and then I can do the same on the bottom supports. like most old wooden ladders, is filthy and covered in drops of paint. So I'm gonna repaint it to cover all this up. I have some old Dulux paint that I actually used years ago to paint some windows of a shepherd's hut. So this is a good way to use it up. So I've got it all painted and I could leave it at that, just put some pots on the shelves, but I'm a bit worried that you'd get a windy day or the local cat could brush up against it and knock all these off. I mean, it'd be fine if you was leaving it in a conservatory or indoors at all. So what I'm thinking is I'm gonna make some little wooden trays to go on here out of some pallet wood. that also be a nice contrast in color to the gray, but it will keep these a bit more secure. So let's get that done have a little rummage through my pallet collection, pick one I like, and then I can use my breaker bar to get it dismantled. Uh, there'll be a link to this bar I use on the tools I use page down below. When I've got as many slats as I need, then I can get it all denailed. These don't need to be perfect, but I do want them all the same height, so I just plane them all down. Then I can use a bench hook and a pull saw to start getting them cut down to size. The ladder tapers in the further it gets to the top, so each one is going to need to be a different length. But they should all be the same depth, and that's roughly to hold a plant pot, so I can get all those bits cut down to the same size. Now, this is a pretty rustic project, so no fancy methods of joining this together. I'm just gonna use some galvanized ring shank nails that won't rust outside, and some wood glue that's suitable for exterior use. Putting casters on my workbench so I can wheel it out onto the patio was one of the best decisions I ever made.
So, even though no plants were ever going to come in contact with these, I wanted to use a natural finish. So, I'm going to go with some pure tongue oil. I just get a couple of coats of this brushed on and left to dry in the sun. So initially I had thought about putting bases on these or probably some slats so there'd be drainage but after actually putting these into place I don't think I'll need them, I'll show you. So you can see the ladder run will actually act as the base and that will give me a maximum headroom in there as possible. I use a combination square to help get all these trays positioned and then I just secure them in place with a few screws. With all the screws in, then I just need to come back with a bit of paint and touch up the screw heads. So that's it all done and it's out here with a few of my other projects. I've got the bench I made last year, table I think I did the year before, bug house and obviously the workshop. So filled with some salad, hopefully this will fill out nicely and I'll post some pictures to Instagram if it's looking good. If I kill it all I probably won't. So thanks for watching, thanks to my patrons and please subscribe for more videos.